I don't know what time. I think I set. The, I thought I set this for twelve o'clock to go live, and it might have been eleven thirty. If it is, I apologize. I am definitely late. But uh, I lost track of time, y'all. Brian B. Made it in here first. What's up, buddy? Fish the mid south. You got the link, brother. You know you can come on up if you want. No, you don't. <laughs> Man, the bite is tough all over the country right now. We fished stand day this morning, and it was bad. But uh, since the bite's so bad, I'm not even going to bother moving to a different spot. I'm just going to rebate and throw out and wait and be persistent. Wallbash Nate, welcome in. Good to see you. I got a couple more guys going to be jumping in here, hopefully here shortly. Let's see. You're, let's see if you're at home with the flu. Dude, I ain't making no promises. The bite has been super tough all day. Um, Stan 3, uh, he didn't catch nothing. Parker didn't catch nothing. Nobody... We had a bunch of guys fishing stand day, and your little brother was the only one that caught a couple of channel cats. Fishing with Steve Mosley, welcome in. Yeah, it was tough. But you know what? Most people would have, you know, anybody with half a brain would have said, you know what, the fish are not biting today. There's no point in putting the time in. Let's just uh, chalk this one up for bad and move on. But, you know, I'm hard-headed. I'm going to stick it out and see if we can't pull something out of this. Because I know this is a monster cat spot that I'm in right now. There's some big, big catfish right here. There's not a whole lot of little ones, but there's a lot of big ones. And we're just going to keep throwing baits at them and see if we can't get one of them to maybe pick it up. I just don't know. I don't have high hopes. But uh, giving up ain't in my, uh, it ain't in me. I ain't got no give up in me. We're going to try a little harder. Rob Fox, what's up? So we're going to keep throwing bait out there. Keep that scent in the water and see if something won't come up. Creo! Listening from the road. All right, brother. Appreciate you. Um, hopefully, Jerry Parker and uh, Matt from Want to Be Outdoors will be joining me here in a little bit. They're both out on the water. I wouldn't blame them if they packed up and went to the house, though, because the bite is absolutely terrible today. Size matters, Andrew. What's up? We ain't giving up, y'all. We're going to keep throwing these baits out there. Like, we were going through the same thing yesterday, and we managed to pull a, uh, we managed to get a 10 pound blue out of it because we didn't give up. Now, I think the bite is probably just a little bit tougher today than it was yesterday, but we're going to stay on them. Man, there's got to be at least one good fish out there that's going to uh, move around a little bit and decide that he wants something to eat. And when he does, we'll be here waiting on him. Jason Crafton. Good luck, Darius. Oh, thank you, Jason. Appreciate it. Burrito Catfishing Lady. What's up, my PB buddy? Because we do like a challenge. And I'm going to tell you something. Ain't no more challenge than there is today. It is tough. And I'm fishing in some heavy, heavy rocks. I reeled all these rods in. I got six rods out. I got four right there. I got the two mat cats right down there. And uh, I reeled in all six rods, and I broke off five out of six lines in these rocks. Had to retie everything. And that's part of the reason I was late going live.
Uh, that was tough for the us yesterday. We managed to catch a few nice fish. Great footage for upcoming videos. Great Creole good. Dude, there ain't nobody catching nothing nowhere. I mean, it is tough. But we'll all hang out and watch these rods, see if something happens or not. I don't know. We'll see. We may catch a break. It may be one of the things where you just got to hit the right time of day, too. So we'll be here with baits in the water. And uh, hopefully something will come along. I'm fishing like it's, well, the same spot I was this morning on stand day. I'm fishing right downstream of a submerged wing dike. And uh, that's the reason I'm breaking off a lot of rigs, too, because I'm throwing it right at that wing dike, and I'm hanging up in them rocks. But right now, I just think that's our best option. Mike Greenwell! What's up, Mikey? Just freshened up all the baits, like I said. Uh, I did reel in two rods that, that, that got tapped on. And uh, I guess the uh, weight got caught down in the rocks. And they sit there and pick the bait off of it. I had two rods that had the bait off of them. They were cleaned up. Eddie Gross, welcome in. Dot along, how's it going? The odds are definitely stacked against us today, but we're going to try it anyway. I know Jerry Parker's moving around. He's trying to get in a better spot, and hopefully he'll get set up, and we'll get him up here in a little bit. I don't know what time I had this scheduled for, if it was 11.30 or 12 o'clock. I, I thought it was 12 o'clock. Had her catching some fish, caught five so far. Really, Mike, you doing that good? Dude, they ain't biting nowhere else. Skip Jack Cindy, what's up? Trevor Williams, welcome in. Oh, buddy. Let's see here. Looking to take the kids next weekend. I think next weekend's gonna be a better weekend. It can't be no worse than this, I'll tell you that. Those boy wants you to take them to Pickwick Dam. Well, this is spring break next week. It could be some decent catfishing this time of year. Yes, it could. Man, I've been seeing a, uh, uh, a lot of people have been going down there skipjack fishing, and while they're skipjack fishing at Pickwick, they'll uh, throw out a few catfish rods. And there's been people getting on a few here and there. This is a this is a uh, the spot I'm in right now. Um, it's got a lot of monster cats in it, but uh, the you know there's not a whole lot of them in here. You just gotta kind of hope that one of them comes along. I've caught some of my biggest catfish I've caught coming out of this spot. Not my biggest, but some of the biggest. I'd say the top ten. We're round up in here. So we'll just keep throwing baits at them. Somebody's got to eat sometime, right? Fishing mid south. Lisa's stalking you. Biggest 15 pounds today. Got fishing crop. Mark, how you doing, Mark? Good to see you. I'm waiting on uh, Parker and uh, Matt. Hopefully, they'll be coming along here shortly. Uh, fought the wind all day yesterday, trying to get some crappie. 
stacked up, but it might have been tough this year so far. Yeah. Well, that's the thing about it. On, on, on not really hard windy days, but on a, a mild windy day, I usually do better crappie fishing when it's windy. I'll put a uh, slip bobber on, and throw a jig out there, tip with a crappie bite or something like that, and let the little waves bounce that, uh, that cork. And when it does, it jigs that jig down there. And I used to do better crappie fishing on a windy day than I do on a calm day. Because the cork does all the work for you. It bounces that jig. The sun is starting to come out. It's been cloudy all morning. I don't know. That may change things up again. Mike Young, how you doing? Good afternoon. Waiting on Jerry Parker and Nat from Wannabe. And I, I won't be reeling these rods up a whole lot and checking baits and stuff because I am fishing in an absolute rock pile. I mean, it is solid uh, riprap rocks out there in the water. Uh, like I said, I reeled up. Uh, Five out of six lines a while ago were hung up, but I managed to get two of them back with the rigs on. But I broke off four of them, and uh, two of them had the bait gone. The ones that I did get in, there was no bait on the hood. I don't know if the fish got it off there or if it just got hung up in the rocks and pulled off. I'm not sure. Good five fire wind. While well, crappie fishing. Me too, buddy. Yeah, if you got a little bit of wind when you're crappie fishing and it's bouncing that cork, man, I'm telling you, that is the ticket right there. That's what works for me. It's the lazy way of crappie fishing. I don't have to sit there and jig it or reel it in. I just throw it out there and let that cork bounce in the, in the waves. And it works pretty good. <clears throat> we'll give this at least a couple hours anyway. Man, I've got Buku barge traffic today. We have got tons of barge traffic. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not exactly feeling the top of my game today either. My, I fell down those rocks getting down here. I must have jammed my back a little bit because this kind of got a pinched nerve in there. It's not real bad though. I can deal with it. Just have to get up and move around a little bit every now and then. If I sit still for too long, kind of get stiffened up a little bit. I got a pretty fast current ripping down through here. I'm not having as much trouble with the still freaking cold here, and it's getting. Getting me down. I don't blame you, brother. It was a little nippy here this morning uh, with the cloud cover and a slight breeze blowing. It put a definite chill near, but the clouds have cleared off and the sun's shining on me right now. And I'm kind of sitting here like a lizard on a rock, just kind of soaking up the sun, trying to warm up a little bit. Let's see. Okay. 
I'm going to do some combo with Mr. John yesterday. Purple gold. A young contender with a purple RCT. Yeah, uh, I got mine right there, dude. I got the, uh, I got a green challenger with a green uh, RCT 6000. There's my new one I got in. Uh, maybe pointing at it, I don't know. But yeah, there's my new RCT rod right there, Ancient Mariner. I got some brand new one too, buddy. Now all I got to do is try to catch a fish on it. Yeah, you got the contender rod. I got the challenger. I can't wait for something to hook up on it. I want to see how it feels when it's fighting. I don't have high hopes for it to be today, though. But I'm not saying 100%. We ain't going to catch nothing. Uh, like I said, I fished for almost two hours yesterday and finally hooked up on a fish. And I mean, it went from, I mean, we weren't getting any bites and nothing. And the rod just bent down and, and pulled real hard and then dropped slack and I rolled real slack up. And when I reeled the slack up, the rod bent down again. I picked it up, reeled it in and got a 10 pounder. And that was all the action we had for the rest of the day, too. It is tough. We got six of the challengers. Want to try the contender? Okay. Yeah, because whenever John asked me, he said, what rod do I want? I told him, I said, I want the same rod that Creole's got. Matter of fact, look at her. Our Challenger just got hit, man. Sitting there talking about it. We just got bumped on the Challenger right there. Something tapped it. But uh, when you told me you had a contender, I thought, man. I said, I wanted the same rods that Creole's got. And I didn't know you had the Challenger. So he, he knew what he was doing. Let's see. Greenwell, okay, I'm back. 18 pounds was on the other line. Bless your heart. That's a southern term. <laughs> uh, never caught a fish on RCT rod. Of course, it probably has to do with the fact that I don't have one. Yeah. Oh, Mike, you smart Ellie. Danny wants to be on, you know what? Everybody wants to be like Creole. Ain't no shame in that. You ain't hurting me a bit. Come in here running your mouth. He's always stirred trouble, you know what? I don't know what his deal is. He must have had a really bad childhood or something. <laughs> they kept him locked in the basement all the time. <laughs> You're a smart man. Yes, sir. <laughs> I sure do. Hey, I got a picture with Creole, don't you? Uh, when I got, went to go and meet him one time. And uh, you're jealous because you wish you had one. You'd be all right, though. NJ, what's up, Mark? Good to see you, brother. Yeah, we did get a little tap there a while ago. I'm hoping he picks that up. Come on, fish. Need a little action. Uh, let's see here. NJ's a little early there, Mark. I, I know we're off this Friday. It's coming Friday for Good Friday. I 
Guerrero Bagres, 18th of the third three. Watch me make sure you hit that. Thank you, Guerrero. I appreciate it. Uh. <laughs> you told Creole you was coming to see him, and he said, well, I won't be home. Yep. I understand that. It's fishing day. Uh, that's wasabi. Creole, you just now figured that out? Mike is full of it. Always has been. And I don't see no changes in the near future. Uh, we are starting to pick back up, but now it's out of the south instead of the north. The wind's been out of the northeast all morning. Now I got it uh, changed direction, and it's coming out of the south. See if that makes a difference. Hopefully so. I got the man, there's a whole lot of slack in that rod down there. I better go check that out. I'm gonna take a look at that. Got some slack. Never seen nothing tapping on it or anything, so I don't know. That cart shifts around here quite a bit. There's like an underwater wing dike right there. So that water's flowing over that wing dike and it's boiling up right out there. Oh, well, I usually do pretty good here. But like I said, there ain't nobody catching nothing nowhere except for Mike Greenwell. Carla, if you live in the Keys, will you adopt me? I need someone to let me stay with them. So I'm going to become a beach bum. Why don't you just go down there and live on the beach, man? You ain't got to stay with nobody. Just stay on the beach. Carla, do not let 
fish in the mid south, come stay at your house. I'm telling you, just don't do it. Yeah, there's two rocks here. They're they're scattered here and about. It ain't too bad today though. I've only fell once. I don't know where crap Parker is. He's upstream north of me here. He was supposed to be moving to a different spot. Yeah, I'm pretty stupid. <laughs> like I said, most people, after a, with nobody catching fish right now except for Mike Greenwell, um, most people would have packed it up and called it a day. I just don't like giving up, man. I always, I always feel like somewhere out there, there's at least one fish that is ready to eat some bait. Yeah, I'll always try to be here to accommodate them if I can. If they're swimming around there saying they ain't got nothing to eat, then that's their own fault because I've got plenty out there for them. I got some big giant chunks of skipjack out there. Should be everything they're looking for. <clears throat> a lot of people been sick lately too I don't know hope I don't catch that crap Jerry Parker where are you Parker I said, you know, car was about to dump me, and Danny ruined it. I sure did. Because <laughs> the last thing I want is Carla adopting you and coming back later and go, it's some guy I met on Danny Stone's channel. I'm like, uh -uh, you ain't tying my name to that mistake. No, sir. Catfish dog, Tim, what's up, buddy? There's Avid. Welcome in. Yeah, you ain't uh, you ain't moving in down there on Carla and blaming it, getting me to blame for that crap. I'm stopping that dead in its tracks. I drop the link. All right, give me a second here. Uh, let's see here. Hang on, I'm getting there. There you go. There's the link. Anybody wants to come up? Mm. 
Everybody needs a fat old guy to mooch off of while you run it for me. Because I can. <laughs> if I can't live in Florida, I ain't going to help you move there. Uh, there we got him. Hey, brother. Y'all fishing, buddy? All right. Yeah, I'm out on the lake fishing for flatheads and blues. Nice. I went down to below uh, Alton Dam, and it's almost like 70 feet below uh, water level. Really? Well, that is super here. low down there. Huh? Yeah, our water's up down here. Down well, here, up here is low. Yeah, we're catching everything coming off the Ohio right now. I might make I'm gonna uh, might make a trip down there this weekend. Down here? Yeah, down to fish the Ohio on Mississippi. Okay. Oh, cause I I think say because I'm I'm making a trip up north next weekend. <laughs> Where are you going to be at but north? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm going to meet up with Jerry Parker. We got a tournament we got to fish. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to meet up with him, and I have no idea where he's wanting to go. I'm just following his lead on it. We're going to go wherever he wants to go. <laughs> Watch it be Baldwin. <laughs> no, we're not fishing. I I can guarantee you we are not going to ball one. That's an absolute uh, absolute no-go on this one. We are not oh, okay. going to ball one. Probably going to be up right now. Uh, Say what? Uh, downtown Ernie Brown. I'm saying hi to a few people. There's your little brother gone wild. He won stand day today with two little bitty old channel cats. Can you believe that? Beat Stan 3, beat Jerry Parker, beat me, beat Timmy. He beat everybody with two channel Little cats. Little brother beat everybody? Yeah, wow. with two channel cats. Caught them on liver and worms. Yep, nobody else on the show caught anything today. Nobody. I'm a, I know I'm going to probably end up hitting Cascadia River at the Mississippi. Yeah. If I don't go south. Because <coughs> I know they have the dams running uh, on Carlisle. Yeah. So that's going to get the fish uh, stirred up in the river. And Carl, oh, down below Carlisle, I dam low. What? I said, I ain't done a whole lot of dam fishing. You know, fishing in a dam? Yeah. I know what, I know around, around the dams, a lot of the big fish like to sit there and eat what's coming through the dam. Because it's basically chopped up and cut up and live bait that's stunned that they feed on. Yeah. If you big fish or your fish are hot, cats are hungry, that's where they're going to be at. What I like to do is take a four inch bluegill and just get right into that water that's coming down, let it drop right into their face. Yeah. Wendy Jane Watson. Welcome in, Lisa. Hey, Ellie. Wendy. How you doing, sis? Hey, there's Cujo. Cujo was supposed to fish with uh, Jerry today. I don't think that happened. Well, I know I'll be nice to <laughs> I'll be nice to Stuart today in your chat, Danny. Oh, okay. <laughs> I ro we roasted him good yesterday, and I roasted him again this morning. Yeah. <laughs> He was just talking about him having to go through all his shorts and see how many times Toe Jam was uh, posted in these shorts. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, we're not starting the toe jam thing today. That thing went on way too That's... long yesterday. <laughs> you can't be asking you for help. No. Ain't nothing I can do to help them. <laughs> He tried to keep, he kept asking people for help, and everybody's like, no, I'm not helping you. You got yourself into this mess. Oh. But that's why I said, I, I won't, I'm not going to start on him today, on your life. Well, it's going to be hard for you then, because... Hey, I won't start it unless he gives me the idea. <laughs> well, have fun with it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wendy, give Stuart a good pinch on the cheek. What are you fishing with for bait, Danny? I got those skipjack that I called it Kentucky Dam. I don't oh. I've got a skipjack down below. I would have got a skipjack oh. down below Alton oh, Dam, but that water is way too freaking low. Yeah. I had the new song Toe Jam McCracker. No. No toe jam today. Hello, I didn't say Adventure Danny. America. Hello. I am, I am, I am banning Toe Jam from the live today. <laughs> well, Danny, I, you hey, have got... Danny, Danny I'm innocent. Danny, I didn't Danny. say it. Um, well, your little brother, Gone Wild, has said hashtag Toe Jam. Um, downtown Ernie Brown has also said a new song. For um, for for uh, how you doing today? I'm I'm good. I'm good. Hi, Donald Long. Hello, hello. I like Stuart this way. Quiet. Uh, and Downton Andy Brown said, "Heard the new song, Toe Jam McCracker." Okay. Well, you let them talk about it all they want to in chat, but we're not talking about it on the line. No. I'm trying to be nice. We beat, beat that horse to death yesterday. That horse got beat so many times I don't think it's going to be coming around anymore. That horse ain't going to see a light of day for a while. <laughs> Stuart, you're the horse. Hi, Mark. <laughs> what? You were the horse that got beat. I'm, I'm no dead horse. I'm very much alive. Just a little bit bruised, but I'm still alive. <laughs> That's why we're not talking toe jam on uh, Danny's live. You just said it, Avid. saying it. <laughs> Sorry. That's why it's tangled. Twisted line. Hi, Troy. Hi, Ma Hi Angela. Angela? Um, Angela is Troy's wife. Hello, fish in mid south. Oh, okay. Billy, stone fly, catfish dog. Hello, hello. I, I'm done. I picked nothing else said. Now the rod's going to touch your truck if I don't step out of the way. But, um, there's no reason for oh, you to say crappy, 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 because we're not fishing for crappy, we're fishing for catfish. Catfish. Hey, Mark. They got a bunch of tackle box back out. Right, Jerry, let's get this thing going, man. 
Stop, gentlemen. Hey, Parker. Stop. Hello, everybody. Live you broke my line on the cast. Hello, Catfish and Crappy. Hello. Angela said hello, Stuart. I thought she would do. I just broke a line on the cast. Um, you need to say hello to Wendy. He, she said hello to you. Who? Oh, Tim? Stop. Yep, Tim. Sherry Downtown Ernie Brown said hello to you. Howdy, Ernie. Downtown Ernie Brown said hello. That's two chats I've said hello to them in. This one and Avid's. Hello, Parker. Welcome. Howdy. But yeah. What tournaments you guys in this week? We're in the bank anglers versus the boat anglers. <laughs> no, good luck with that one. Uh, I ain't worried about it. You guys know what team you're on? Well, yeah, but I know a professional. The bank team. A professional. We did you show. Okay. Hey, there's Jello. What's up, buddy? Hey, Jello. Hey, Jello. That's your mess, sir. That's bad. What? I, I like going into a tournament being the underdog. But don't kid yourself. Me and Parker have sunk a few boats from the bank before. It ain't nothing new. Uh, <laughs> sinking, hey, sinking boats from the bank is easy. We did it uh, New Year's Eve. Did it in Baldwin. Hey, Cujo. Hey, Cujo. We laid way to this boat. Hey, Chavez. Cold Creek Millie pulling for the bank team all the way. We appreciate it, Billy. Uncle Donar, Guerrero, Barge. There's two people on, on bank teams. Uh, there's one, I should say, one bank team I don't uh, put in last place. That's you and, De that's you and Parker. We've got, we got a pretty good team built up. The, the bank team is, uh, we elected uh, Tony Harrison as team captain. we got me, we got Parker. Uh, crap, I forgot who else. Oh, we got Big Mike. Big Mike's on the bank team. Well, that, that's a team I'm not going to put down because you got Big Mike, you got Parker, you got you. And well, you guys way, way some, big fish. We're going to get some pretty big guys, man. Stan 3 and all them guys, they ain't no joke. Yeah. I still give you guys... I'll still stick with you guys. Well, the most valuable person we have on our team is not going to be fishing. Who's that? And that's going to that's going to be uh, Uncle Jeep. Oh, that sucks. Uncle, Uncle Jeep? No, it don't. Because Uncle Jeep is on the bank team. What he's going to do is go over to the boat anglers because they're going to be, the boat guys are going to be on J.G. Hill's channel. The bank team oh, okay. is going to be on Tuesday's channel. Well, Uncle Jeep's going to go over there and he's going to harass the crap out of them while they're fishing. <laughs> We're sending Uncle Jeep I have to destroy their morale. Oh, welcome. Oh, that's going to be Henry. And yes, Catfish Dog, we will have, for the first time, you guys have never seen this before, we're going to have Trophy Seekers Outdoors on the bank team. Daryl will be on the bank Woo. with us. That, no. Hopefully that don't come back and bite you in the butt. 
Daryl in the back. Hello, Piggy Pickles. Hello, Piggy. Piggy Spittles, hello. Welcome. Hey, Piggy. To the best of my knowledge, we've never seen Daryl fish from the bank. But you will get to see that. I've never seen day. him fish from the bank. Well, dear, that's all the more reason to watch. You're going to see Daryl fishing from the bank this coming Saturday. He's getting off the boat and joining the bank team. Question is, is he going to be using the boat to get to the bank spot he wants? Yes, that's what some of us are going to be doing. That's the plan. But we're not going to be fishing down the boats. We're going to be bouncing. We're going to be we're going to spot hopping. There's Piggy Piddles. Oh, man. Happy Guinea Pig. I love that guy. Hi, John. Miss John, welcome in. All right, now I can recast again. <laughs> yeah, I've been losing. I didn't see you come in. Cuffish dog going to give us plenty of room to make a fool of himself. No, nah, Daryl, I'm going to tell you what, don't underestimate Daryl because what he's going to do. He's got spots where he does. he's went around with the boat and he's checked them out. He's scanned them and he's done a lot hey, of scouting. And what he's going to do is pull the boat up at them spots, get on the bank and throw into them. <laughs> That's smart. Piggy says it's time for grub. I'll leave you running until I get back. All right, Piggy, we'll be here. Miss Kennedy, getting Parker and Danny looking to see some Mississippi hogs. I'm hoping, Missy, but it ain't looking good today. Bite is uh, pretty slow across the whole country right now. Don't Just let the worm out. Did someone tell cat. Jerry not to talk too much? <laughs> I had a little tap on the uh, on the ancient mariner rod just a little bit ago, but that's pretty much the excitement for the day. Just a little tap. Uncle Jeep, welcome. Hey, Jeep. Hi, John Boy Catfishing. He's like, hello, Stuart, the funny talking guy. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> they got you pegged, Stuart. Well, I thought I'd show face and just say I'm not a coward to basically shy away from a camera, so. I thought I'd better show face. Fishing and cooking with Mike Chavez is like solar flare got messed up. Uh, for yeah. it messed it up. Just ask James. That's what I hear. Uh, Fishing with South says, do any of you all have a suggestion for tool organizer I can mount to my seat frame on the kayak. I'm cheap, I admit it. Well, thank you very much, Troy. Thank you. Um, I like the way Stuart talks. That's just my Scottish accent because that's where I'm from. Um, if anybody doesn't know or didn't know, I'm Scottish. Scott. Is that like Scott's tape? No comment of it. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Mike Savas, beam me up, Scotty. Well. <laughs> Danny? Is it like Scotch whiskey? There's nothing wrong with Scotch whiskey. At least we can help make a whiskey. Exactly, Catfish Danny, and Crappy. Freedom. Yes. Freedom. You may take my life, but you'll never take my catfish. Who the most the top stewards in here? We spent a long time trying to get him to say something. We got no power. <laughs> <laughs> say, say it, Cat. Say yeah, it straight. Yeah, yeah. We got no power, Captain. <laughs> the best part of Stuart is Wendy. Yes. And the best part Finally, of Wendy. Finally, the truth comes out. We've already had that discussion. Uh, Catfish and crappy. We've already said, get in my belly. Now, Captain, I'm giving her all she's got. Oh, uh, they're after your lucky charms, Stuart. Well, probably. Um, oh, Matt's still trying to fish. Well, Lisa, at least he's out trying. Unfortunately, my weather across here sucks, so yeah. Stuart, can you say hi to my buddy... Philip Mc McCrevis. No, we're not saying that one. No, we're not saying Philip McCracken. No way. No, no, Jared. Nope. Oh they still got him. Stuart, you bring it up, people. You know that, right? Get the right ball. <laughs> Well, yeah, lucky charms, Irish. I'll give you uh, give you points for that one, Mike. Yes, I love I these chats. They are so funny. Well, I tried to be, but unfortunately, people just don't understand my accent half the time. And that's where you get. I'm going to put it inaugurated into the campus family. Well, I, I could speak with a funny twang. Oh, there's a fishy. Matt, Matt's just had a fishy. Matt's got one? Matt's got a fishy. Is that a bass? There we go. That's a fish. That's a bass. That's a fish. Man, get the hell out of here. <laughs> that's a fish. Matt, that's, hey, that's a snack. That's a, that's a cute little fish. fish. It's got red eyes. My God, B. Well, bass. it's not a skunk. It's not a skunk. It's a fish. It's well. <laughs> a fish. It's like a fish. A cute little thing. <laughs> Matt Lisa's already to you, man. Burrito Burrito says that's a cute little feller. There was a cute little fishy, a cute little bass, or should I say, a uh, largemouth sunfish? Burrito, I named the rod after you. Uh, I'm waiting to hear. I'm waiting for the response from that one. Look, I um, but look, I give Matt crap, and he knows it pretty much. That's that's bait around here, pretty much. Yep, Missy's got that right. I wish we could use bass for bait. 
If I can use bass for bait, I, I can catch a lot of bass out of this lake. Uh, hey, Stuart, can you say hi to my friend Buster Heyman? They stuck this go, lake here twice a year with bass. I admit to expecting Stuart to look different. Whisperer made me expect him to be a little feller. He's more of the fish screamer. <clears throat> Uh, Sasquatch, you don't deserve a response. Um, well, your little brother is like, can't use it for bait here, but it was perfect. And that's why uh, I'm not using that Bruno ten, rod ten today. Ox small won't fall for that. Play me, uh, listen, make sure I was like, pl play me. Some black bear. Don't know that one, I'm afraid. Mike, sorry. <laughs> black bear, what's black bear? I might go have fun. Okay, burrito. Catfishing lady. See you later, Lisa. Enjoy your day. Later, Lisa. No, but Stewie did next. What do you mean Stewie did? What? What did <laughs> I do? I didn't do nothing. You need to blame for everything, Stuart. And Lisa came to see me. Pretty much. What Scotland the Brave black bear? Well, no Scotland the Brave. I yeah, know that one. I think that was a Kentucky bass. Sure, is John Holmes stopping in today? I don't know who John Holmes is. Who's John Holmes? You got that from me. John, John, John Holmes? Who's he when he's at home? Good thing is the wind's dying down. Oh, yeah, it has here, too. I hear it's ripping here. Really? Uh, yeah. The sun's actually came out here. I'm trying to. Yeah, it has here too, Molly. I'm on a flat. I mean, I'm literally on a flat in the middle Johnny of nowhere. Johnny, what happens? And I'm trying yeah. to fish this thing, man. I'm. I'm gonna make a move once it's. I far saw Parker Gimble. Right. Mind you, too much. I can't type, I'm laughing so hard. Well, okay, Tim. What Johnny are you Wad laughing Holmes. so hard Anybody about, Tim? Who is Johnny Wadholmes? Anybody know who Johnny Wadholmes is? We don't want to talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> who is he? Stuart, don't open that can of worms. Nope. I, I'm reading chat for you guys. He's no, a but don't star like the late seventies. Oh, it was just well, a I like I said, don't open that can of worms, Tim. Uh, Stuart. Johnny Holmes. Just They're trying to bait ride. you into something. Okay, so for now, I don't, I don't read what um, fishing mid south says. Okay, scratch that. I'm 33 years old. I don't know what happened in the 70s. You think I'm bad, uh, Stuart? Mid-South is worse. This wasn't Mike. This was fishing Mid-South. I know. He's worse than I am. Trying to, I succeeded. Mm. Uh, 
As soon as I said that, that I'm wouldn't pick back up. What? Of course you remember the 70s. If you're 66 years old, you were born in the 50s. Stuart's on good fun. Okay. Fishing Mid-South. <laughs> Hello, Angela. Welcome in. Hey, Angela. He is saying he smoked his way through the 70s. Well, I thought it was the 60s when that all happened. Well, we carried it over. <laughs> Started in the 60s, ended up in the 70s. Yeah. The 70s is a blur. Did, did, you, did you ever see Cheech and Chavez? I saw Cheech and Chong. Hopefully the fish start a feeding frenzy. Well, Billy, that's the most sensible thing somebody said in chat so far, apart from Amanda. Uh, not Amanda, Angela. Don't insult me, Angela. <laughs> oh. Man, yesterday I just like you shed this small tiny shed here Friday with no bigger than a half an inch and they were popping the top of the water. Right, guys, give me a minute. I'm going to bounce. I'll still be in chat. Just like stay here. I, I'm just going to like turn my mic off. And Where are we going to go? I like that one, Danny. He goes, stay hey, here. I ain't going to go anywhere. I'm just going to... That's the guy funny being a boy who's gone. We shut the line down. <laughs> oh, yeah. He'd be sitting backstage by himself. Stay here. I'll be right back. Like, where are we going to go? Hey Danny, how big of a creek chub have you, do you uh, have you ever used for bait? Uh, I haven't really caught any real big ones. I think the biggest creek chub I've got was probably about a pound and a half, two pounds, maybe. And I just chuck them up. I got one about seven inches out of Horseshoe Lake when I saw the cast net, and he's big. <laughs> I mean, poor horseshoe, I've, I've never seen him come out there that big. Uh, we usually go up to a uh, current river up around Donovan, Missouri, and uh, you get on the John boats with spotlights and go through with uh, fish gigs and spear them at night. And you can fill up a 55 gallon barrel just stick them with those spears and throw them in that barrel as fast as you want. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, they eat them up there, though, man. They have a big deal when they go out at night and they gig those uh, uh, sucker fish and then go to shore and clean them and cook them. I've been catching creek chubs the last few times out there at Horseshoe when I was doing the cast net for uh, Shad, and I've been catching them around 7 to 10 inches. Well... Like I said, if I want any big creek chubs and stuff, I gotta go up to a. Uh, are you talking creek chubs? You talking about the horseshoe suckers? Horseshoe creek chubs. Oh no, those things are fishing in the net. They're little. When I throw the net on those, they're dinky, man. They're like three or four inches, every one of them. But if you're talking about going up and getting I, those uh, those big suckers up the current river, man, you can get some big ones.
Parker knows what I'm talking yeah, about. I like oh yeah. I know I know the horseshoe suckers you're talking about. Those those are good uh uh good for live bait and cut bait if you get them small are they, enough. Are they called horseshoe suckers or horse head? Red Always horse. mix that up. Red horse. Red, Red horse, horse suckers. That's it. See, I've always got the name wrong on those. But yeah, we go up there and just spear the crap out of them. Those make good time to speak. Hey, Mo Dog. Cindy, can we bring Stuart up co host on Cindy after dark? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. That's up, to, that's up to Cindy for that one. Yeah, I don't know why I've always had trouble mixing up the name of those uh, sucker fish. Uh, Stuart, come back. They're talking about chubs. Well, chubs is fish across here. Creek chubs is what we call them. Man, I'm about to go to the truck and get a big old trouble hook and start snagging some of these carp that are swimming out here in front of me. There's millions of them. Yeah, I went down below and damn, normally there's Asian carp left and right in there. There was nothing. I think I tried snagging for about an hour and lost about $20 in tackle. They are piled in here today. They keep coming up to the top. Next one I see up here at this lake, I'm gonna cast a trouble hook out there and try to hook him. Cause they've been trying to get these Asian carp out of this lake and these big head carps out of here, and they let these uh, licensed gill netters come in and they take out the other fish instead of the big head carp and the Asian carp. You're never gonna get rid of those. They're here to <laughs> stay now. <laughs> Especially when I get in the lake. Uh, no Hi, Sampy. Let me put it to you like this. There's no way to get rid of those without killing every other fish in the area. Right. You'd have to kill every fish and this in the lake is, This is, lake is fed by the uh, Mississippi River. That's two canals that come in the both ends of the lake. Come right out of the Mississippi, right into here. Hey, I don't know if Modog Mo hit me. Up, hey, Modog, my Mo pup. Mo pup, Mo dog. That's Mo dog. He ain't no pup. <laughs> yeah, I got a hey, Mo big dog. old tackle pack full of. Uh, I got a big pack tackle uh, pack full of bass lures in from Mo dog there, day, so. I guess I'm going to break down and do some bass fishing sometime this year. More with. I got that's, that's, uh, that's, 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 a box of lures from uh, New Hope Fishing I'm going to have to put, put to use here in a minute. And this, this water is a little too cold to be doing that right now. <laughs> Mo dog saying hi, Avid. Hi, Stuart. I got to love, honest. I love Mo dog. He is an absolute legend of a man. He really is. I love him a bit. Wendy says hi, Mo dog. No. Did you did? Feels new too. Windy, 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 windy. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. I'll put it in for you now. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You can put them in every tap. Or remove it and then put it in yourself. Good thing is, I can throw a cast in here to see if there's any bigger shad in this lake, but Friday, they weren't that big. 
got about maybe a million chat in here, about a half inch long. What? Good. Wendy, my favourite Scott. Oh, okay. Cheers, my dog. I'll take I'll take the compliment also. What compliment? That Wendy and I are his favourite Scots. I thought he said Wendy was. <laughs> Well, obviously, you just said Wendy. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to be nice, you know, and try to throw my name out there, you know. <laughs> oh, you trying to put your name in there? I do count, you know. We know. That's why we pick on you the most. Well, unfortunately, Mid South. <laughs> You're saying that it's uh, it sucks because they've been attacking Wendy plus me. So I mean that's a total different uh, subject. Here to what I don't want to mention you in here. Well, I didn't stutter. Yes, you did, Mo Dog. Jokes. Uh, uh, chub, uh, minnow, whatever you want to be called. I'm going to save you for a minute. See if that cup bligo gets a bite. Fishing Miss South, thank you. Honest, I will be honest, Wendy needs all the support that she can get. And I'm not joking. She really does need everybody that is like connected through me to help her out. <laughs> Parker was William Wallace back in the day. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> well. Hmm. What, Stuart? I think it's going to take all day just to catch one fish, to be honest with you. I kind of fish. There was a jerk that popped up in Cindy's live last night. I don't understand why people have to be so ugly. If we, okay, here's the deal. If we don't catch anything else today, the bass will come. Okay. Thank you. But if you catch a catfish, the bass is null and void. So we don't catch a catfish, that bass stays on board, huh? Yeah, this bass stays on the board if we don't catch any catfish. So our, our, our objective right now is to bump that bass out of here. Uh, let me see, throw a cash and I see if I can get more shed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ma. I feel for you, bro. Thank you. Honestly, everybody should try and like, hook up to my missus, Wendy. Honestly, we'd like to do her the world of good. Yeah, Mo Dog. Uh Man, want to be outdoors? He caught a bass while ago. We yeah, he caught a moffet. Yeah, we got moffet. Did he just say bass? Yeah, there's a bass being caught. <laughs> Excited or what? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, dog, hey, I just hear what you just said. Bass, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> I 
You're a chance to have brother in the that, four pound round. <laughs> that bait doesn't count. That's funny. See if this was a if this was a if this was a what do you call it? A bass fishing competition. Um, Matt would have won it because he said that's it finished. Wow. Yeah, no, no. You got another one? No. Another bad? That's I got my striper rod out. Oh, there you go. Dog says, hey, Danny, can you make me an official judge? I can keep this rolling. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I love him. I'll tell you what, Modog. We need an ambassador for bass. So, oh, there you go. That's for you, Mordo. Come on, Mordo, up you come. Don't be shy. Real hoss. How you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, Billy, uh, I know a lot of people that uh, I think MJ, uh, I've seen him use trout to catch catfish, and again. We can't use trout for bait. It's illegal. But I wish we could. Uh, like, I go to Arkansas and catch trout all the time. And it, uh, to me, it's just a total waste to throw the, the, the trout heads away when I can use them for uh, catfish bait. But we okay, can't do it. I'll come up since you're twisting my arm and all. Thank you, yeah, Moldog. Come on, buddy. Come on. Do come on, two, Sam. Two bass guys on the channel. Yeah, I'm just a multi-purpose fisherman. I, I I've never caught a bass, so that rules me out automatically. But I'll I'll catch a I'll catch a bass if I have to. <coughs> I just need to hey, I need to get to the states first. Fishing the mid south wants to know if you tried the PC phone Elios reel yet. Yeah, have you tried that Alios uh, reel yet? Yeah, I really like it. I got it well, right here. Gotcha. nothing yet. He caught a bass. Yeah, a creek chub. really good smooth yeah i'd like to get me a couple of low profile reels too all right it's about to get busy up in here now what's up dog what's going on <laughs> he's, hey, like he's trying there, to 
Jeff, come up here and back Maddie up. Hey. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. You should move me over next to him so I'm not like so far away. Man, I'll start pushing buttons all in this thing. Never mind. Don't do that. Never mind. I'm, I'm good underneath you as long as you don't catch anything. Hell yeah, I'm working on it. Get, get something I'm, big. I want to see trying. something. I want to try to catch a big catfish and drop it right on top of your head. <laughs> I could use the hair. <laughs> may, may I say, Mo Dog, you look absolutely beautiful today. I, with that top I that you oh, God. Listen, I went out and had my hair did for this and all. Nice. <laughs> it's nice to see I your hair down, Tim. No. So, so um, uh, I, I don't know why you guys are still fishing. Someone caught a bass. That means it's done. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yep. Not it on the grub table. Yeah, usually, usually if I catch a bass, I pack up and go home because it's just no good for the rest of the day. It's no good for you. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, like, can you oh, imagine man. you catching like a two pound bass on Black Betty? Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, I have caught. Hey, my dog. I, going I, I did catch a four pound bass. I was uh, fishing for channel cats and uh, throwing a cut bluegill out and a cotton picking bass hit it when I, when I threw it out and it was sinking the rod jerked and I thought man that channel cat was really hungry it got it up there as a freaking bass I'm going to have to send you a chatterbait so I can have you tie it on to Black Betty and go out and cast that thing out and reel it in and oh cast it out really God, that'd be so ridiculous <laughs> that'd be so Dude, funny. Hey, um, I wouldn't be afraid to go after some stripers or something like that oh yeah I bet they'll tear that up Oh yeah. When they're running up here, it's crazy. Can I just make it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I, can I just say something? Actually, us. Parker was on the boat with me and Richard Cluck one time, and dude, we had a, a run of stripers come through, and they were busting top water all around us. Oh man. Modog makes the fine cat fisherman himself off of bass lures. Hey, I, I can catch me a couple here and there. I actually go catfishing every now and again. Danny's seen me catfish, actually. I have. I have. I, I was never more proud of you. <laughs> I'm going to get back out. I got my stuff out just the other day and was looking at it, and I thought about going catfishing, and then my bass lure fell on me, and I was like, oh, now I'll just go bass fishing. As a sign from above. <laughs> I spend more time catching bait for catfish than I do catfishing. Yeah. <laughs> then again, that's part of catfishing, going bait fishing. Yeah, but you know, that's the thing. Bait fishing is fun, too. I love going bait fishing. Well, I mean, skipjack, bluegill, whatever. I mean, I love going catching bait. Isn't isn't that what you cat fishermen say I do? Is go out and catch bait. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. But uh, no, in all seriousness, man, I have just as much fun catching bait as I do catching catfish. Yeah. Well, I mean, catching skipjack and stuff like that looks just like going out. And crappie fishing or dude it's the most fun you'll ever have it's it, it's crazy because they're just slamming them one after the other one day i'll come I mean, you, you need to and uh you know there's just something about throwing out a, a rig that's got five drops on it and you pull up the line and you got four fish on you know it's just cool yeah, I don't think we have anything like that around here, so. <clears throat> well, I think we're going to be going again here in a couple of weeks. I'm going to have to get Maddie up here. And uh, we'll have to do a day where uh, it's going to be uh, Jerry Parker. I know he's going. I'm going to try to get up there. We'll bring Maddie. We might try to drag along old Richard Cluck and uh, Josh Dunnigan and a few others. Well, don't tell any of the other bad hey. other cat fishermen, Danny, but you're my favorite catfish. All right. Well, I appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> Secret down already, Moda. Oh, wait, am I live? Sorry, bad. <laughs> but, uh, you know, right now I'm living the Danny Stone curse. Every time it happens, 
if I catch a big fish, I mean really a really trophy catfish, I'll have a, a, a stretch of a swamp where you just you don't get anything for a while. You got to pay for that big one. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. How big was it? It was yeah. like 80, 89, 69? It, it was eighty eight point eight two. So, and you're on what day twelve? So you got eighty eight more days. Yeah. Well, I did catch a ten pound blue yesterday. Oh, okay. Right. Well, never mind. Never mind. You're good. You're good. Don't call me. Don't call me. I mean, that's not a giant. Question thing. is, was that a reprieve? Well, even back when I my PB was seventy pounds, when I caught that seventy pounder, dude, I went uh, uh, three and a half weeks without catching another fish. Oh no. Well, let's not do that. Stuart, are you just are you just on here as well, or are you fishing? Well, I'm in a super I'm in a supermarket, guys. I'm I'm, I'm getting tea. I'm getting really nice tea for tonight. Ah, oh. So I'm gonna show up. So you're just I'm like here. You. I'm here. Look, look, honestly, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, he's so like you, you Modi. He's up here fishing for coffee. That's what it is. Like me. I'm meant to be reading chat. Yeah, yes, so, I mean, I'm kind of busy. <clears throat> this is to come to so get um, food first, and then I can sit back and relax. So you're telling how long have we been <laughs> on? An hour and 26 minutes, and the only thing caught is a bass? That's it. What is wrong with these men? Uh, I have no clue what's wrong with them. We fished standing this morning, and everybody was skunking it. Uh, the little brother is the one that caught the cat cats. That's it. Wow. It took, it took Danny a while yesterday to catch catfish. And you guys are fishing. I mean, it looks like they're fishing in good areas, you know? Yeah. Especially you, Matt. Just saying. <laughs> You're, you're fishing and looking looks like the best place, man. I would be hitting that shore over there with some more. Let me tell you, that's where all my stuff is, but uh, nothing's taking it. Of course, I don't have any bait that I want, but you're using skip jack, Danny. Do you're using skipjack? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you later. I think you need to do where all cat fishermen have to go out and do bass fishing. Bass fishermen have to go out and do that. I know, but it just would be weird to see to see you out casting the lure. <laughs> Hey, I used to be a hardcore bass fisherman. Well, I know that. Yeah. I know. And, you know, I used to be a hardcore cat fisherman before I fell in love with bass fishing. It's just funny. So, so, like, somebody sees me out sitting on a bank with a cat fisherman. And look, Danny, Danny's sitting out cat fishing, and he thought it was the weirdest thing. Ever 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 cat fishing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got a little bit somebody. <laughs> I see. <sighs> no, nope, it's not Parker. Somebody right, win you, yeah. It ain't me. Parker. Parker's got the setup right there. He looks like he's sitting out there in a big hole. I'm actually sitting on a flat right now. I'm just on oh. a flat since the day. the day. So I'm getting ready to move in behind this uh, big mass rock structure to get out of this wind. There's a little deep of water back there. I marked a bunch of fish here, but everything I'm, I'm looking at is pretty much 
plain belly on the bottom. So I did catch uh, one right before we came live. I did catch one pretty nice channel cat right here, but that was not what, not what I'm looking for. Yeah. Oh, uh, I guarantee you, you can run a boat out in front of me right now, and you will mark fish that will blow your mind just laying there, but they're not doing anything. You every time right. we come to you know, every time we've ever come through here with the boat, it'd be me and Richard or me, Richard, and Parker that come through. And man, you just mark unbelievable fish, but you cannot get them to take a bait. That's crazy. Shad jumping all around me, but I can't get nothing to bite. Yeah, the temperature here, we got like 40 mile an hour wind here today, so. We're supposed to get some pretty bad storms, Modo. <coughs> you still in Oklahoma? Yeah. yeah. We're supposed to get some uh, BU. I'm in northern Arkansas. Uh, I think Danny and some of Texas and Louisiana are supposed to get hit pretty hard. Yeah. I, the, yeah, those storm winters are going to be moving in tomorrow. Yeah, we have some pretty bad winds coming through here today and in Kansas, right above where, well, not right above, like five hours away, but most of snow. Can you believe that snow? Yeah, I just got the wind to drive through for this area. It's uh, won't end until Tuesday, and it's uh, 20 to 30 mile an hour winds with up to 50 miles an hour. Well, then I take it you're the one with all the wind. That might be Stuart that got all the wind. Here. Stuart out and about? Or is he yeah, he's not walking. Stuart, mute yourself. Okay. Nope, it's not Stuart. Let me try to mute me. Maybe it's me. What's the matter? Daddy, can I get cereal? Sure. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <There. laughs> oh, yeah. It, it's mad. <laughs> Don't you mute. You can't mute Matt. Matt's, Matt's winning right now. I'm just saying. What what's what are we winning if we win what are we winning? What's what's the prize? If it's a bass, nothing. I lose. I gotta jump in the water or something. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Forever carry the shame of catching on a jig pickle. If this bass wins, I think more dogs should send a chatter bait to the winner. <laughs> a chatter bait? No, no, hey. I don't even know what that is. Did anybody hear what I just said? I think if this bass is going to win, I think more dogs should send a chatter bait. We heard you, Stuart. We heard you. If the bass wins, uh, Modog has to contact Matt from Natural State and send me a jig. <laughs> Wait, I, how did how did I get pulled into this? <laughs> hey, you asked. Okay, you're right. You're right. Touche, my friend. Modog, because you're the bass angler. That's why. Well, yes, and. <laughs> That means I very little to lose, guys. <laughs> I'm just here for moral support. <laughs> oh, man, the way you jumped up there, Parker, I thought you had <laughs> Oh, no, I'm going to make a move. I'm going to move oh. into some deeper water. I saw him jump up and grab that pole. I was like, oh, yeah. That would end the bass, bass lead on this Tim. Hey, Danny. 
conveniently labeled LG Bass. <laughs> nice. I see uh, no chatter beat in there. Yeah, I don't do good with them. Oh, man. Too much chatter. When I do fish for bass, I do pretty good with rattle traps. Rattle traps are pretty good, yeah. I've caught a few catfish on a rattle trap once. I've caught a catfish on rattle traps, too. I've even caught some flatheads. Yeah. I've caught walleye out of this spot. You know, I've never caught a walleye, ever. <laughs> I uh, accidentally snagged a spoonbill in the mouth in this spot, too. Nice. <laughs> it was all on the same day. On the same day? Yeah. We caught your attention, Cindy. A what? She, Cindy, Skipjack Cindy said, anything, anyone catching anything. And I said, we caught your attention. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Very true. They're upset because the only thing that got caught so far is a bass. <laughs> and Mr. They're trying to work that uh, bass off the market. <laughs> off the show. Yeah. That's why I'm up here. They said something about a bass and I was all interested then. You know, no, I'm just interested anywhere. I wouldn't have been in here. Yeah, so you came up to support the bass fisherman. That's right. That's right. I came up to support the bass fisherman. And watch all these other ones try to catch up. The window will <laughs> cry about it. <laughs> it's like kryptonite catching a bass on a uh, catfish lot. <laughs> they all wither. Uh. <laughs> I'm mouthy. I'm just trying to catch a bluegill so I can get some fresh bait. Yeah. I got bluegills, uh, shad, carp, and uh, creek chubs. Hey, Mo Dog, if the uh, if the bass has red eyes, is that a Kentucky? Uh, it's a Kentucky bass, or it could be a, a mean mouth, which is another name for a Kentucky bass. Um, small mouth have red eyes. It had the uh, the tooth patch, so. Uh, so that would be a cross. That would either be a, a spotted bass, Kentucky bass, or a um, mean mouth. You know, mean mouth is the cross between the, the small mouth and a large mouth bass. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, can I ask a question? I, I know I should call you Mo Dog, but I mean, I'm being respectful because this is a like, serious question. Do largemouth bass and smallmouth bass, do they, can they crossbreed? Yeah, they're called mean mouth. <laughs> Did you just hear what he said? <laughs> oh. No, because I just came back in and Wendy the was talking to me about The reason they're called mean mouth issue, is because so sorry. if anybody ever catches a smallmouth, they know they fight like a tank, man. They're, they're, oh, the, yeah. they're one of the fightiest fish. I know that's not a word, but it has to be because I said it. Um, so... They're, they're one of the meanest fish when you catch them. So they took that part of it, mean, and then the large mouth, of course, and then that's how they got the name mean mouth. But, yes, they crossbreed and make and make, um, and make those kind of babies. Especially when you catch a small mouth in a small river, okay. like this river over here to my, well, your that left. Side. Over, yeah, that side. Uh, there's a lot of small mouth in there. And when you catch them out of small rivers like this, they are ferocious. Yeah. I found a dead uh, young smallmouth. It was just floating, so I picked it up and I cut its head off and I put it on a hook and sent it out there. And I caught another smallmouth on it. <laughs> that's funny. I, like, I don't think that's supposed to happen. I don't either. <laughs> the biggest smallmouth I ever caught, too. 
Cameron Modog is the catfishing community's favorite bass fisherman. Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> I don't know. Some up in the chat would probably say otherwise. You never know. Do I have a onboard charger or just for my uh, cameras? Is that what you're talking about? I just carry portables. Hey, Danny, I was walking up that hill and I broke my tripod. Ouch. Yeah, I ripped the leg right off. Oh, no. That ain't good. Now it's a bipod and it doesn't stand up. Or wait, no. But, yeah, whatever. Oh no 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 no! I don't have a, I don't have I don't have a motor on my yeah. Yeah, you do. I'm on my legs and my arms. <laughs> you walked into that one, Mo Dog. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Hi, Jody. Hey, Jody. Zebra cake. I would like to catch the bluegill, too. Danny's on, on mute over there so that the wind isn't bothering the thing, I think. Oh, was that him? That was Lola? Uh, I'm not sure if it was him or, but he's got his uh, little little thingy on me. Oh, oh there man, I was muted. I've been talking for 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there wondering, I said, well, these guys are buttholes. They're ignoring everything I said. I didn't even know I was muted. We didn't hear a word you said. <laughs> I'm sitting here, man. I'm spitting knowledge left and right. Throwing out wisdom like you guys will never hear again. And the whole time I was going... Why aren't they even acknowledging the fact that I just told them the most complex and in, in, informational, informational thing they could ever hear, and nobody even acknowledged it? I'm like, crap, I'm muted. <laughs> crap. That would have been funny if you would have been so mad that nobody was talking to you, you muted all of us, and then there was nothing going on on here. <laughs> I was sitting there, man. I was going, I come out there and I said something. And... And, and I was fixing to start really just ripping on uh, Stuart because I would say something, and two seconds later, he would say something that would have been the same thing that I said. And I'm like, did he not just hear me say that? <laughs> that is so funny. I've been sitting here wondering how come you haven't been talking, and then I just looked over a minute ago when she said I haven't heard haven't heard Danny say anything, and I was like, oh, I think he's on mute. <laughs> yeah, I looked over. And I'm I like, wonder oh, what. Oh, I was wondering why Danny wasn't talking. <laughs> had, my, had my mic cut off. I am that's so funny. I am so sorry. I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> no, they, see, and now I can't remember any of the fantastic things that I told you guys. It's just gonna, it's gone. It's lost forever. Well, so we'll just have to go lost. back and see if we can hear it. No, we can't. <laughs> you can. <laughs> uh, Well, I guess I've been muted uh, all the way back to when you guys were talking about uh, uh, what do they win today if, you know, if they catch fish. And I mean, because yeah. man, I've I, I told all y'all a bunch of stuff right then. You know? <laughs> I did, because I said, you know what? I said, here's the deal. I'm gonna repeat what I said. But when you guys said, what is what is Matt win if all we catch today is that bass? And I said, well, we've got a trip coming up where we're gonna go skipjack fishing together. And what I'll do is, if that bass is the only thing caught today, I'm gonna take one of those uh, spinner baits I got from Modog out of the pack he sent me, and I'm gonna take that up and give it to Maddie. There you go. 
So if that bass holds up, Maddie gets a brand new in the package spinner bait, straight from Modog to me to him when I meet up with him at Kentucky. John Holmes bait? loves my content. Yeah. <laughs> what if I catch a bigger bass? Oh, for God's bass? sake, somebody catch a catfish. I don't want to have to carry that bass lure into Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> It would be like a drug deal. We're going to go up there behind the car. So don't let anybody see it, man. Keep it down. <laughs> Looking around, handing out a spinner bait. What is it? It's a bass lure. I don't want anybody seeing me handing this thing off. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yell really loud. Thanks for the bass lure, Danny Stone Outdoors. <laughs> Cat fisherman. <laughs> got to love my friends. <laughs> We're here for you, Danny. Man, I just can't believe how dead the bite is, though. It is crazy. I know it. I know how I feel every day I go fishing. <laughs> well, it's not a good feeling. He wa he's so small when he walks all the way down by the water there. It's so crazy how far away his camera is. <laughs> so is that white pole that he's got out there on on Matt? Is that white pole that he has out there? Is that like down by the water? What? Your white so. pole, is that next to the water too? Yeah. The big one? Yeah. What about it? About right there. So that's a, a, a white Betty? That's a white Wilma. A white Wilma. <laughs> what kind of rod is that? A trophy cat tackle. Oh, okay, okay. I got one of those. I'll never use it, but I got one. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I may do that. Because I've been looking for him, and he hasn't got any more in in a long time. He said he's not going to get them for a while because they sold. I've had mine stuck in a. Mine's been stuck in a storage unit for probably a year and a half, two years. Oh, now you tell me. Half cent. I got it. I got a big pile of those, and the, well, I got one of those, and I got a big pile of the, uh, you know, the cat busters. Yeah. I've got several of those. The mo dog, the camera really right not that me far you guys. from uh, the poles. It's just the water's really low. Oh, so way down. It just looks. It just when you're walking down there, it just looks like you're itty bitty tiny when you walk down there, like it's like a hundred yards away. six yards oh my bad <laughs> that's the first time anybody's called me tiny <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna oh, use that, 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 that one man. time when modog called me tiny <laughs> <laughs> Now, the last time I fished with Matt, we were over at, uh, it was over at Barkley Dam and fishing a tournament that night. It was the Fever Believer Challenge. And, uh, man, it wasn't going good. But uh, that's when my granddaughter called us. She got that 39 pound blue. It was her new PB. But Matt hooked into a fish finally. And I thought he was going to break his legs getting down there to get that fish. But that fish was not getting away. It, it <laughs> kept calling him. He come crawling up that bank on his hands and knees, dragging that fish. We would never look. His knees were all, our leg was all bloody and torn open. I'm like, dude, <laughs> that fish wasn't that big. <laughs> Who wouldn't have broke my leg for it? <laughs> I got a friend. Whoa. I got to go give it back to the owner. Oh, I thought it was a wig. <laughs> what do you got, a dog? 
Yeah, it was a dog. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, Avid. I, I'm root, I'm rooting for you too, Danny and, and Parker and, and and yeah, Avid. I'm wait. I'm trying to get Avid some good luck. I'm rooting for anybody that'll catch a fish. <laughs> That's not a bass. That's, I knew that was coming. I knew because I was just getting. You saw my mouth open. I was just getting ready to say somebody already caught a fish. <laughs> nope. Nope. It only counts if we don't catch anything else. <laughs> Dang! Now I know why I don't have any subscribers. <laughs> Dude, I would I would settle for a carp at this point. <laughs> oh, oh, you, you you love the the Bucky stickers? Well, I got a Howdy, and I got a uh, Gone to Bucky's. That's sweet, man. Parker is still driving to his new next spot, huh? Yeah. Crazy. I just oh, seen two spotted mind, dogs there. swim by, Danny. I haven't, you know what? I haven't seen any gar yet this year. It's not warm enough for them. When it warms up, they're here though. They're in the they're in the Spring River pretty good. They hang around this uh, the mixture of the black and the spring. It's all yeah. the bait fish. Okay. <laughs> He's joy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he is. <clears throat> I mean, when he was telling us where he was moving, he just pointed that way. He didn't say that way, then that way, then that way. He just said over there, and he's been driving for quite a while, so. You, you can't keep up with Parker. Best thing to do is just let him go. Let him run. Let him go. Wait till he stops and then go catch up to him. And then go catch there. up to him. <laughs> I am seriously real close to, to reeling in those four rods and going to get my snagging rod and try to hook some of these carp. Let's see if I can do this. Anybody recognize the two purple stickers? Oh, that purple sticker. And that one looks like Let me see. these these two. Hang on. Uh -uh. I have no idea. Who is that? No? I can't see it. Mm -mm. <laughs> what is it? Uh, what's that say on it? Fishing with a bass fisherman? Is that what that says? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's got its own place. It's got its own home. Good. Yeah, way up there where you can't see them. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> no, that's... Hey, Danny, yeah, I brought my... I'm, I'm going to get them moved anyway. There's a snagging hook. Really cool. <laughs> they're up there at the moment. Put that dude on the back but, of a. Oh, yeah, just throw that out there. <laughs> Thinking about it. You're bound to catch a log or a fish. I'm not sure who that is. <laughs> I put my one rod against the bank on the other side where they're jumping, so hopefully something will take it. Oh. Yeah. Well, it has been fun, but my uh, children um, are in there screaming, and you know how it is. I'm a stay-at-home dad, retired army, oh, yeah. wannabe bass okay. grow fisherman okay. guy. And oh, wait, I, that, 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 that's fine. That one is cat fisherman. Yeah. yeah. Well, brother, it was an absolute pleasure having you pop up here. Man, I appreciate you letting me, Danny, and, uh, you know, I don't want to ruin it. I just figured I'd come in and say hey and, and tell you that I appreciate you, man. And Yeah. And uh, you, hopefully, you, you could you couldn't ruin anything if you tried, man. You're always welcome on my channel anytime. Well, I appreciate that. Awesome. Thank you. 
Yeah, I, I, I just wanted to come in and, and root for my guy here, Danny, or Matt. <laughs> I'm just ruining it. <laughs> Matt's, Matt's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> God dang it, no luck. <laughs> I hope that bass wins just so I can say, hey, that's cool. But uh, I, I actually hope you guys catch some catfish because – well, right now it's uh, looking pretty good for the bass. <laughs> well, I, I'm looking. <laughs> How's it going, Avid? Good luck, man. Hopefully, you catch something, man. I see you over there throwing them them lure them lures. <laughs> see, I'm such a bass fisherman. It's not even funny. <laughs> I see you throwing them lines out. I hope you catch some. Looks like a good area you're sitting in there, Avid. I'm gonna see if I can snag a spoonbill. That would be so awesome on on the live. Uh, does, uh, here's a question that I have. Seeing as how this is a um, a catfishing live, um, and you got all these, uh, so is it is it still considered a a fishing video, even though a catfish wasn't caught yet? Oh yeah, we're out fishing. It's just so, not a catching video. <laughs> it's not a catching. <laughs> So there, there you have it, Matt. They're still not going to say that that was even caught on here. <laughs> I feel like Rodney Dangerfield. Right? No respect. I get no respect. No respect. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm going to jump down. Appreciate you for letting me pop up here, Danny. And, uh, and good anytime, luck, everybody. Brother, anytime. I will still be watching, but I just I got to go. At least I've got my own dog now. I've got my own puppy beside me. <laughs> I've got my own puppy. Take it easy, Mal. All right, have a good one, guys. I've not got a dog. I appreciate it. Good luck. You too. Love you, Moo Dog. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's one of the best. Yeah, even his only fault is the bass thing. I mean. <laughs> Well, give him, Danny, give him his due. He has caught a catfish on a bass yeah. lure. Well, that's just it. He wasn't trying that to. That counts. <laughs> I've only been to Bucky's once, but unfortunately it was on one of my lives that I did ages ago. It was actually the same live that they came from. They came all the way from Texas. He's like, LOL, watch it. I'm still in the chat. What? Modog. Oh, so Modog's still in the chat. <laughs> well, well let's see. I've got a uh, fishing with Modog. And I've got a. Uh, I've got. I've got to admit, they're cool. His stickers are cool. Oh, I just need the Mopound sticker. They should give it to his members of his channel. What, that one? Yeah. Like that's, sunfish, that's Sunfish King. Yeah, just see, like, holographic. That's, this, this that's Sunfish King, some old man outdoors. Yeah, no, that one, it pointed too first. But so. I, got, I got to admit, right, that basically Possum, Doug, Tim, Reef Robber, Errol, James... Queen Hess, Boring Fisherman, Anything is Possible, and Mom and Son. So yeah, I've got all them on that side. And Double Hook Anglin, got two stickers for him, Squirrel, Cindy, Castray, Damn Cool, and No BS. So yeah, pretty much blessed. This angle, that one that you pointed to first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one. It looks all holographic. I don't see a picture. Yeah, it's all holographic. Hey, Danny, how there's many a fish. Do what? He's how got many a fish. He fishy? Not the one really big travel hook. Where's a fishy? I don't know. You said fishy. Honestly, I love every single one of you guys. I really do. 
mean, for, for me coming from Scotland and then you guys basically wide open arms given like basically like chance for me to basically join your family, you know what I mean? I'm 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 pretty blessed. Hey Stuart, you're on. I am. Yeah. Yeah, what he doesn't realize is why one of us is hugging him, the other one's behind him stealing his wallet. <laughs> Matt, I wish it was pushing there. It's calmer than here. Gregory Lemon, what's up, buddy? Hey, Gregory. Hey, Gregory.
something big on there. snag something huge. Yeah. Did you get any scales off of it or anything? I'm back. We miss you, Stuart. I thought you did. Mo Dog saying, has someone Bird telling him, trying to tell him where to fish. Dewey is back, let the pigeons loose. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> now, now. Thank you, Tim. Do his back with the pigeons loose.
here, fishy, 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 fishy. Hello, Gregory. How's you? How's mom and dad? How are you getting on, Avid? All right. Where's everybody gone? Uh, I'll be falling asleep. <laughs> Dan, Dad, you're my not meant to fall asleep on your uh, show. That's Jody's the, job. Off the bottom, because there's too much muck down there. I'm not fishing, Gregory. I'm at home. Weather's brutal. I've had three phone calls for a weather warning saying they're going to get torrential rain. Flooding might be an issue. So fishing sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Go up top middle is Parker Pursuits. Well, Gregory, I got Skipjack on. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Parker's using Skipjack and Threadfin Shad and Hickory Shad. And Avid's using... Uh, Bluegill Shad and uh, Carp and Creed Chub. Basically, Avid's going with the kitchen sink. What? You've gone with the kitchen sink. Everything and anything. No oh, match there. Who's going to catch the first fish? Well, Gregory has been a fishing caught. Um, they're counting it at the moment as a, as a fish. It was a bass. And Matt from Want to be outdoors has caught it. So at the moment, the bass stands. I just need to give me a shad so I can get your shad back out there again. Because it's creep jumping. Look at those things. I'm planning trip. on starting back when I get my boat fixed. Who's seen that? Yeah. Rob Fox. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow. See. <laughs> we'll be. If you can hear me, Gregory has asked a question. Have you tried worms yet? Say what? Gregory's asking a question. Avid, have you tried worms yet? 
I don't have any worms. Well, there you go, Gregory. There's your answer. No worms. Horse, what you do is if you, oh, you can do it on StreamYard, if someone's live like Danny Stone is at the moment, you can use your phone. That's what I do. Everybody's got blue skies and sunshine apart from me. It's dark. Rain's stopped, but we'll be starting again at some point, but I don't know when. It's like quarter past seven my time, so yeah, it's... Uh, It's, it's evening time here. You can get a battery pack. Um, mine's is in a bag. I've got, I've got a portable charger you use that charges your phone. Um, the one I've got lasts like 50 hours. So uh, It's called a two spawn. Got it from uh, Amazon. That's what I use. So, I mean, if you've got it for like a, a session, that will definitely last you. I have a jackery. Did I use for, uh, do my live streams? Um, Avid, Billy St. Cole, what? the Creek Chubs are usually some good bait. Right now, they're not doing any, anything. I've kicked chubs on a 12 foot rod. I'm going. Huh? Uh, this is a good catfish spot. You need a new spot, not, Avid. The place where it's stocked with uh, catfish. This place is stocked with catfish. This place has. Two canals coming in from the Mississippi. Plus, this lake already has a lot of catfish in it. You again? Yeah, what you doing? You catching anything? Not yet. What are you up to? They're all, they are good bait, but fish got shut our mouth today. Yes, exactly. Exactly. No fish around today, but there is fish. You just need to try and put a scent trail out for them.
that would work. I mean, especially off a boat, that would work. Onion sack full of fish. Bits and pieces of fish. Frozen. And basically, with a weight or a, or a brick or something, and just basically dump the sack, the onion sack full of offal, and then drop it to the bottom. Nearly, nearly where your bait's in. Mm -hmm. uh, red real hose, what kind of camera? Right. GoPros last under an hour. DJI Osmos action doesn't last much over an hour. Well, the best the thing would be, is, as Catfish Dog has said, that we need to open a fish's mouth. Not got a chat of mouth, we need to prize it open. Yeah, but with a cold print, Catfish normally keeps their mouth shut. And that bait can comes up to them in the face. Can I just see? Thanks. That is a that is a sticker. What is that? I'm impressed with that. My camera can't pick up. That fish dog is a sticker. Catfish dog. No, that sound. <laughs> All right, I'll be back in a minute, guys. Keep an eye on these rods. I'm going to walk down the truck and uh, make me up a snagging rig. Can't hook them in the mouth. I'm gonna hook them in the side. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing that one too myself, Danny. Yep. Well, I'll be back in a minute. You watch them rods go down while I'm on. That's normally when that happens. Yep. All right. I'll be back shortly. All right.
know that dating apps are designed to make you spend hours swiping and chatting? One is so different. Trying to get into the chat and I couldn't even do that because dang commercials. I wish. Hey, Chad, Daddy. Don't know where Jody is. Hey, John boy.
Nope, Gregory, you know what I caught a fish yet is Matt with a ditch pickle, a bass. Yeah, maybe a pound. I'm just glad to see uh, little put out fishing. Danny, this reminds me of the night me and you fished all night. All night. I didn't catch a fish till 7 o'clock in the morning. I know. Neither one of us caught any fish all night. <laughs> yep. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm 13 pounds. Of One of these times we got to change this, Danny. Stuart, your bone does not like you. It's getting, starting to get warm over here. Yeah. Just wish this wind had died down. I've seen an American Adventure. Thank you. She posted it on uh, Facebook and she posted a video on YouTube.
Hey, baby. Oh, yeah. I the river snagging rig very many times because it'll get my back burned. We'll give it a shot. <laughs> no, no, you can't grab them. They're just they're just they're just Thank you. 
Then he got a cart. a nice bait. Who's that? Danny? You get a Asian car? Yeah, he got some nice bait there. That there should be enough to wipe out the uh, bass. Oh, yeah. Right there. The bass is no 
Deadly combination. Are you keeping it? Yeah, I'm okay. I got a cooler up in a truck full of ice, so I'll probably just play him out and throw those plays on ice. Or might just chop his head off and put him in there. There you go. What do we have to throw that about? I don't know, four times and finally hook one. They usually don't take them. for a minute and we'll do another one. We'll snag another one here in a minute. That's hard on your back. Yeah, that's why I stopped. It's hard on your shoulders. Especially when you're whipping like a 12 pounds. Pounds. Especially yeah, when you're using big rods. Yeah. yeah, I'm using that 13 footer. Hey, Dan, I'm here. Too here. Out here. I got to go find somewhere where we can, man. I'm getting the crap beat out of this wind. is starting to white cap out here. Move around, buddy. Do what you got to do. All right, brother. Yeah, let me rest for a minute, catch my breath, and we'll snag another one. Yeah, look at this. You need stuff for a fire. 
chat decide. Do y'all want to try to snag another carp? If y'all want me to try to snag another carp, I'll throw about four or five throws at them. Yeah, I'm not snagging no more. My uh, shoulder's killing me. Dude, I, I hit one on the fourth throw. Nice. I'm going to reel the rest of my rods in and head to the house. Hey, the next time I fish, I'm going to go up to Missouri. Hold up here. We don't catch anything either. <laughs> time, is it? Uh, it's four minutes till three. Without bait, right? Bait does help, but uh, I just got a carp with a bear hook. Showing off. Yeah. I might store up pretty bad too, but uh, I'm gonna snag one more carp anyway. Two of them will last me for a while. Oh. Snag you another one? All right, we'll wait till Matt's gone. Oh, he'll like hey, Danny. He's talking to me. Yeah. I want to go ahead and get out of here because I got to go home and get something to eat and get ready for my show tonight. All right. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to snag one more carp, then I'm going to quit. But, uh, I'm going to snag one more carp, and I'm going to quit. Let me snag another carp and we'll get out of here. That means my bass won. No, I got a carp on the bank that can eat your bass, dude. <laughs> I knew that was coming up. Hey, when we go up to Kentucky, though, I'll still bring you that lure, dude. You earned it. All right, let's see if we can get on one more carp, guys. Uh, if we ain't got a catfish on by then, we're done. Uh. Yeah, I was trying to give that guy the hint. I didn't want to talk to him because he's talking about putting hoop nets out and crap. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I don't like hoop, I don't like hoop nets. All they do is rape the waters. Yeah, well, and they normally don't right. check them. A good way to get snagged, too. Oh, yeah, I've pulled a few hoop nets up on the bank before. I've done that a few times. I pulled a few gill nets up on the bank. 
All right. Let's see how many throws it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop. You got to count every time you do it. Brady didn't catch one on that one because normally if you catch one, you catch back out there and get another one. Yeah, they're pretty thick out there, but they're a, the water's deep. That's what I'm saying. I'm surprised you didn't get one. I don't want to tell you what you sound like you're doing. Yeah, I know it. It always sounds like a porno whenever I'm fishing. Man, I wasn't even going to touch that one. <laughs> if you've watched me fish very long, you get used to it. I do a lot Especially of Especially watching these bag. Dude, my back is killing me. Yeah, mine is too. I don't doubt it. I'm going to be hurting tomorrow morning. Well, this is about the worst Danny thing I doing do that for, right Danny ain't doing that for about an hour and a half this morning with a uh, snagging hook. So I know, I know what you feel. I'm going to do about two more throws and I'm going to call it good. I told that guy, I was really like, you, you don't worry about uh, depleting the population of catfish. He's like, dude, they're so thick in here. I was like, it doesn't matter. You know what? <laughs> a lot of people. He's making that do the that excuses for the catfish. Yeah, because uh, that, that that's that's the cop out they use. Oh, yeah. there's so many. There's no that's way. That's a cop catch out them all. excuse. Yeah. How far are you throwing out there, Danny? Probably about 45 to 50 yards. Man, they're that close to the bank. Oh, yeah. I remember last year you did that. You were running out of bait or something, and you snagged a carp because they were just, like, right there in front of you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you, you never run out of bait on the Mississippi River. If you've got a snagging hook, and this... uh. This spot here is not the best spot for snagging. Down there in that cove where the water's real calm, dude, you'll get one on every throw. Every throw. But we're in open water here and they're scattered out. So it's a little tougher to, to get them. All right, let's do one more throw. And then I'm, I'm done. Because this is killing me. Oh, I understand that. I know how it feels, Megan. Oh. Anybody ever snags for carp, they know how that feels. Yeah, it's wearing me out. Oh, there he is. Got him. Get him. I knew you was gonna get get one soon. Yep, got him, got him, got him. That one's mine. Come and get him. All right, I'll be there in about an hour. You be there before me, Matt. This near's a little heavier. I'm about two and a half hours from Danny. 
whatever, whatever I snagged earlier, I had I snagged it and it took off towards the other bank and it just kept going. I mean, it was freaking massive. Probably a gar. You know what paddlefish are? Are you Matt? Yeah, there's paddlefish, but I pulled it up and had scales on the hook. Oh, pulled them up with scales? Yeah. I, I could have been a gar. Man, this is like bad love. Yeah, I know, I know when you hook a paddlefish, they take off the opposite direction real quick, real hard. That black river is like bad, but oh, another Asian carp. <sighs> Danny, I should have come down there where you're at to get it, get bait. Oh yeah. All right. I couldn't cast in that on that bank because the overhang's too low for my big rods. I don't fish right here. I, it's just one of the areas I can see the bank better. Oh, okay. Like down the river. Yeah, I see somebody. My big said that rod. Like the, somebody said that looks like the J Dog rod Danny is snagging with. It is the J Dog rod. White lightning. Lighten up them car. And Daryl says he's got a mini black Betty for next Saturday. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> black Betty. Somehow, I don't think that's a good comment. No, no, man, I'm really excited about, uh, I mean, Daryl bank fishing with us. Uh, I am seriously, no joke, uh, pumped up about that. And that is going to be fun. Trust me. I can't wait to I can't wait to see him bank fish. You can take me on solo screen. I have a hundred percent confidence in him. I think Daryl's gonna tear it up. I think Daryl is. I think Daryl's gonna get in there and he's gonna get on it. All right, well, we caught two carp for the color for bait. So now I've got Skipjack, I've got Shad, and I'm going to put these two carp up in the freezer. So we'll have somebody, three different baits. Somebody beat Danny. I'm bragging. No, 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 no. I'm just saying we're going to put these up and uh, we'll have uh, some, you know, you beat that carp up a little bit. Get that meat good and bloody, then you uh quick freeze it when you thaw it out it'll be soaked with blood real good meat. oh yeah so you get a deer liver and uh make some slices in the cart and put the deer liver in there with it yeah it never fails though i said all right we're gonna do one more throw every time you say that because it used to I would play a game where, okay, we're going to throw five throws. If we don't catch one, we're done. But every time we throw five throws, if we catch one, we start off fresh five more times, five more throws. No you catch another one, you say, okay, five more throws. Well, today, I said last throw. That was the last throw because I don't need a whole bunch of Too much to win. Right there, it lasts me a long time. Man, I should have threw my bait out. I let it thaw out. Now it looks like crap. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can't let it get warm. It's useless after that. Yeah. Crossing the train tracks. Yeah, make sure you tell Jerry to keep in touch with me when y'all go down there. Or if you're going to go, you, you know, let me know. Oh, dude, I'll hit you up. If, uh, All right. Uh, when they get ready to go, I'll send you a message and let you know. Okay. I mean, I've got plenty of skipjack right now, but uh, uh, I'd be uh, I'd be more than happy to go up there and help you fill up a cooler. Heck yeah, I'm gonna take my big one. Take your big one, cause we're gonna fill it up. All right, that works. Yeah, what we'll do is uh. You bring you bring the biggest cooler you got, and uh, when we get that full, I'll fill up a small cooler to take with me, just so I can top off my freezer. But uh, the number one objective is to fill your cooler up, because like I said, I've got plenty, but I can put a few more in there. But I'm not worried about it. Sounds like a plan. Hey, Matt. Yeah. I'd let you borrow a hundred foot, a hundred and fifty quart ring cooler. A what? I can let you borrow my 150 quart rain cooler. Oh, I got a, I got a pretty big cooler. This one <laughs> take almost a lot of skip jack to fill that up. I got one of those big, one of those uh, long white ones. Yeah, that's yeah, what that's I got. Gonna... That's what I got. I, I filled that thing up when we went last time. I filled up that cooler, and uh, that little red one right there, it was full, and I got one twice the size of that cooler. It was full. I had three coolers that we barely closed the lid on. Next time you do that, you need to take a video of Stacia's face when you pull up. She was not happy. Dude, we spent six hours. Uh, vacuum sealing and wrapping those cotton picking skipjack. She was not happy. Now, when you put those in, you down down bring it all you dry nice. Hold on, what, Matt? Do you dry those off when you vacuum seal them? I dry them off when I vacuum seal them. Um, yeah. But when I just wrap them in plastic wrap, uh, generally I'll just try to wrap them up real quick. But a lot of times they're so slick, you have to dry them off doing that too. But just wipe them down. You don't have to have them completely dried off. Just kind of wipe that first layer of slime off there. Right. Because uh, we found out the hard way that if you try to uh, bag those in a vacuum sealer with all that slime on it, um, your vacuum sealer will not seal. It, it, it won't It won't vacuum. That slime yeah, keeps that it from You got to wipe them down. Yep. I've done that before with Shad. Yeah, we were like really mad because the vacuum sealer it, it would sit there and just uh, hum and hum and hum, and it wouldn't vacuum. We started wiping them off and putting them in there, and it would vacuum down every time. But that slime causes the, the bag to stick together, and the vacuum won't work. How many do you put in a bag, depending on how big they are? Depends on how big they are. Uh, some of the bigger ones I got, I got, I mean, I got like uh, maybe 25 or 30 of them that were 17 inches long. Uh, I put those in a bag by themselves. Okay. All right. Well, I'm headed into the house. Uh, let somebody uh, stick around till you get to the truck. Nah, as soon as you say you're done, I'm going to probably close it down and get out of here myself. Yeah, I'm already driving. Oh, well, hell, have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, Danny. All right, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get ready to shut this down and get out of here. All right, brother, be safe. Y'all be safe. Head home. Well, thanks for hanging right. out with Thank us, man. Oh, uh, Matt. What, Danny? I said thanks for hanging out with us, man, and that was a nice bass. I, I was just picking on you. I know. I, I, I wish it was a skipjack, but... Don't worry, we're going to take care of that. We're going to take care of that. I know. I know. All right, bye, Matt. All right, Evan, you got anything you got to say to him before I shut this down?
Evan, you want to tell them bye before I kill this out? All right, everybody. Uh, bye. Have a good day. And if you run tonight, come check me out. There you go. And take we'll line, take, have a good night. What time's your show, Evan? Tell them. Uh, I believe it's uh, either 7 or 8 o'clock. I forgot when I scheduled it. Okay. Well, just keep your eye out for it, people. You'll find him. Right. And on that, all right. And on that note, let me do this right here. Oh, hang on a second, people. Give me a second. Settings. Camera. There we go. Ah, oh, what a day. Rough, rough, rough. No catfish for you guys. Maddie did pull off with the catching a bass for you. You know, I had to do something, so I ran to the truck, got the snagging hook, snagged a couple carp for you real quick. Hope y'all enjoyed that. That's always my go-to backup thing. Can't catch no catfish, snagging carp. People seem to love that for some reason or another. It's always entertaining. Uh, but it kills my back, and I am tired. We've been out here all day long, and nothing drains me more than not catching fish. I mean, if I'm catching fish, keeps my adrenaline pumped up, keeps me going. But when the bite is dead like this, so is my energy level. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We had a great time with you guys uh, talking to each other and chat and cutting up with us. We'll see you again real soon. We're going to end it like we always end it. You all ready? You know what I'm going to say. You're my brothers, you're my sisters, you're catfish family. God bless each and every one of you. You know, you know, you know, Danny Stone loves you. And we'll see you again real soon. Make sure you don't miss the next uh, Saturday. The boat anglers going against the bank anglers. It's going to be fun. Bye, y'all. Love you.